Theodore to bless her charge. As before, Sophia lay outside the pavilion. Bedtime is Dad's special time with his two boys. Is this what you wish on me? But this night is special. Soon, Mick Jones goes into surgery. It's uh, actually been a blessing to find it um, early because they say it just keeps growing. Mick's esophagus is closing up. He has a non-cancerous tumor wrapping itself around it, making it almost impossible for Mick to eat. When it goes down, it just you get a pain kind of in the base. That's the tumor on the right side of the spine. It's a tumor that uh, if you don't take out, it will increase in size, and eventually it'll obstruct his esophagus completely. Cameras are inside the operating room when doctors attempt for the first time in the U.S. to remove this type of tumor with a robot. This is the mass underneath this. Five small incisions are made, connecting the machine outside to the robotic hands inside. A problem in the middle of surgery. Every time Dr. Miguel Gomez grabs the tumor, a piece breaks off. We passed a suture through the middle of the tumor twice and then use that suture for leverage against the tumor. Once the tumor is loose, a net-like device is inserted to pull it out. That's wow, huge. that is huge. We initially thought that the tumor would only be about five centimeters in size, but it turned to be out to be about 10 centimeters in size. Traditional surgery would involve a large incision of eight to 10 inches between the ribs, dividing muscles, spreading the rib cage to get to the tumor. With the robot-assisted surgery, just five tiny incisions, no muscle cutting or rib splitting, taking recovery for Mick from two months to two weeks. Uh, I noticed that from the first day. The eating has been phenomenally more easy. Bringing back family dinners to the Jones table. Is it good? I'm Alyssa Medley reporting.